Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. And I hope you're all doing really great today. And so uh, we're going to be taking a look at what is going on at the moment, of course, and we'll, as well as what is expected in terms of the rainfall totals as we head throughout today. And also we want to take a look at the current sea surface temperatures across the North Atlantic uh, just to see how things are progressing. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update and so now as we go on our return into the satellite imagery here we can see that there is definitely some activity taking place in the western caribbean we have that widespread area of cloud cover and uh, some convective activity as well and this likely contains some rainfall with it but of course not a whole lot it's really the cloudiness that is extensive across sections of central america the cayman islands and heading to cuba and even over into the bahamas we see some activity taking place as well but for most of Jamaica, Hispaniola, going to the east of Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, Lesser Antilles, the ABC Islands. We're not seeing much happening. Things are pretty much clear right now. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning and uh, however, we do see some cloud clusters moving from the tropical Atlantic heading into the basin and so with the passage of these clusters uh, sections of the Lesser Antilles could see some isolated shower activity as we progress throughout today. But for the most part most of us are really uh, dry and there isn't much going on at the moment and so now let's go ahead and look at the rainfall totals expected for the euro and icon and we're beginning with the euro model and uh, as this map becomes more colorful as we head more to those shades of yellows oranges reds uh, that is increasing rainfall totals expected there we have the colors with the values beside them and those are in inches to show how much rainfall those different colors represent and so across the Caribbean the euro is expecting that is really mainly for Central America where we're going to be seeing some rainfall activity. Again, we've got those uh, clusters coming in from the tropical Atlantic and that could induce the shower activity that is expected along sections of the Lesser Antilles. We're seeing more of those colors for the Windward Islands uh, and Barbados as well. So uh, that is what the Euro is expecting. But for areas such as most of the Yucatan heading down into parts of another in uh, Venezuela, Trinidad and Tobago, the ABC Islands, even Jamaica as well, not seen where uh, much rain rainfall activities expected so very little to no uh, rainfall at all as we progress throughout the rest of today and then going on to the icon we can see that the model is expecting uh, something pretty much similar not a whole lot of rainfall activity across the region and of course uh, that rainfall would be more probable across sections of Central America but for most of the other areas maybe just some spots of showers here and there but nothing very intense as we progress throughout today and so now we want to go ahead and talk about the sea surface temperatures because of course we're approaching in summer and as I mentioned temperatures it is very hot for some of us here in sections of the Caribbean and uh, even for Jamaica the rainy season the first rainy season is May and we're not uh, we've not seen any major rainfall activity but of course we're definitely longing for some here because of just how dry things have been some areas are even going through drought conditions and of course that impacts workers such as our farmers of course with reduced rainfall activity and the pelt and heat that is not very very good for the crops they need the right conditions in order to thrive and uh, things were actually forecasted to be pretty dry by the climate prediction center however uh, things can change so only time will tell but I'm gonna be keeping you guys posted on that and not just for Jamaica but of course the entire region and uh, now on to the sea surface temperature map so I want to do a comparison with March and uh, on the 19th of March that is how warm sea surface temperatures were in the Atlantic but today is the 3rd of May take a look at this things are warming up very nicely across the region so these conditions are just uh, getting in place as we progress to the hurricane season so the southern Gulf of Mexico uh, off the coast of Florida the Caribbean going out into the tropical Atlantic uh, we see all of these warmer colors of course the warmer colors those yellows oranges reds they indicate the temperature and of course uh, we have the values there so mainly that 28 degrees Celsius isotherm across most of the Caribbean and over in the eastern Pacific might have your eyes because even those very slight pink shades are seeing 30 degrees Celsius. So as I mentioned in previous updates, the Eastern Pacific hurricane season commences on the 5th 
18th of May. And so guys, uh, that is what is going on. Things are warming up very nicely, as I said. And uh, as we head to the hurricane season, we're going to be seeing conditions become more and more conducive to support cyclogenesis. And so that is pretty much it for this update video. And I hope you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be with the wise.